Welcome fellow travelers. Today, we embark on a captivating journey along the Camino de Santiago, also known as the Way of St. James. This network of ancient pilgrimage routes spans across Europe, converging at the revered shrine of the Apostle St. James the Greater in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. The Camino de Santiago has a rich history that dates back to the Middle Ages when it became one of the most important Christian pilgrimage routes. It holds great spiritual significance for believers and offers a profound sense of adventure and self-discovery for all who undertake it. So grab your walking shoes and join us as we explore the primary routes to Santiago de Compostela. When people mention the Camino, they often refer to the Camino Francis, depicted here on the map by the red line. The Camino Francis is the most popular route for pilgrims, stretching from St. Jean Pi de Port at the French border of Spain all the way to Santiago de Compostela. Its popularity stems from the diverse scenery and excellent infrastructure, with numerous towns offering albergues, pilgrim hostels, and cafes along the way. The Camino Francis provides a unique opportunity to experience the culture, history, and natural beauty of northern Spain. From the picturesque landscapes of the Pyrenees Mountains to the enchanting historic towns and the final triumph of reaching Santiago de Compostela, this route captivates pilgrims from all over the world. Another remarkable route is the Camino Portugues, which follows the coastal path from Portugal into Spain. It holds the distinction of being the second most popular Camino route. The Camino Portugues has a unique charm, offering pilgrims a chance to immerse themselves in the rich cultural heritage of both Portugal and Galicia, the region of Spain where Santiago de Compostela is located. This route is known for its historical significance and connection to St. James the Apostle in Padrón, Spain. Pilgrims can explore stunning coastal landscapes, charming fishing villages, and historic towns along the way. The Camino Portugues is generally considered a less challenging route compared to others, as it is relatively flat, making it a great option for those seeking a more leisurely journey. Starting in Lisbon, Portugal's vibrant capital city, it passes through Porto, famous for its port wine, and Pontevedra, a picturesque town with a rich history, before reaching Santiago de Compostela after covering approximately 380 miles. The Camino Portugues is divided into two main routes. The central Portugal route is more popular and well-supported, offering a well-marked path with a range of accommodations and amenities for pilgrims. This route takes you through charming towns and villages, lush vineyards, and beautiful countryside, allowing you to savor the rich cultural heritage of central Portugal and Galicia. On the other hand, the coastal route follows Portugal's stunning coastline, providing breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and the opportunity to enjoy the coastal beauty. This path offers a more serene and peaceful experience, away from the bustling cities, and is a great choice for nature lovers and those seeking a closer connection with the sea. Regardless of the chosen route, both converge in Spain before reaching the ultimate destination, Santiago de Compostela, where pilgrims can bask in the joy of completing their journey and receive their well-deserved Compostela certificate. Now, let's explore another popular Camino route, the Camino del Norte, also known as the Northern Way. This route hugs the northern coast of Spain, starting in Iron on the border of France and traveling westward through vibrant cities such as Bilbao, Santander, and Oviedo. The Camino del Norte offers breathtaking views of the rugged coastline, pristine beaches, and charming seaside towns. While it may not be as crowded as the Camino Francis, it presents its own unique challenges. The distances between towns are reasonable, but accommodations can be sparse compared to other routes. Therefore, on the Camino del Norte, you'll likely rely more on guidebooks and daily path breakdowns. Despite its challenges, this route provides a more solitary and introspective journey, allowing pilgrims to connect deeply with nature and themselves. Let's now turn our attention to the Via de la Plata, a Camino route with a fascinating historical background. The name, Via de la Plata, is derived from a corruption of an Arabic word meaning, wide surface road. This name is fitting as most of the route follows the ancient Roman road from Seville in southern Spain to Santiago de Compostela in the north. Spanning over 600 miles, the Via de la Plata is the longest continuous route within Spain. Along the way, pilgrims can explore remarkable cities such as Merida, Salamanca, and Zamora, each boasting their own architectural wonders and cultural treasures. This route is especially appealing to history enthusiasts as it offers insights into the rich Roman heritage of Spain. The Via de la Plata presents a unique blend of historical exploration and spiritual pilgrimage, making it a captivating choice for those seeking a truly immersive Camino experience. Did you know that there is a Camino route that begins in the United Kingdom? Yes, that's the Camino Ingles, or the English way. 
English pilgrims traditionally embark on this route by walking approximately 25 kilometers within the UK before arriving by boat, traditionally in either a Carunia or Faroe. The Camino Ingles is a Y-shaped route that can be started from either city. If you choose to start from a Carunia, the walk is about 75 kilometers and can be completed in approximately three days. To be eligible for the Compostela certificate, you must also complete 25 kilometers within the UK. From Farrell, the journey covers around 70 miles over five days. The Camino Ingles offers a unique perspective on the pilgrimage, with its connection to English history and the opportunity to interact with pilgrims from different parts of the world. Let's now explore the Camino Primitivo, meaning the original Camino route. As the name suggests, this was the original route walked by the king. The Camino Primitivo is the most direct path from Oviedo to Santiago, passing through Lugo. It rejoins the Camino Francis about 40 miles from Santiago. Covering a total distance of approximately 180 miles, this route is considered quite challenging due to its hilly terrain and unpredictable weather conditions. It offers pilgrims a true sense of adventure and a connection to the ancient origins of the Camino de Santiago. Along the way, you'll encounter stunning landscapes, quaint villages, and historic landmarks that evoke a deep appreciation for the journey and the transformative power of the Camino. Lastly, I want to highlight a very special Camino route, the Camino de Finisterre, also known as the Finisterre Way. This route holds a unique place in the hearts of pilgrims as it extends beyond Santiago de Compostela. Many pilgrims choose to continue their journey from Santiago to the coastal town of Finisterre. But why Finisterre? Well, in ancient times, Finisterre was considered the end of the world, and pilgrims believed that by reaching this point, they had completed their pilgrimage in its entirety. From Finisterre, some even continue on to Musia, another coastal town known for its spiritual significance. Walking the entire loop from Santiago to Finisterre and Musia adds an additional 55 miles to the journey. Pilgrims who complete this route can receive a special Compostela, commemorating their unique achievement. It's a truly profound and introspective experience, allowing pilgrims to reflect on their journey and find a sense of closure. And there you have it, a glimpse into the diverse and captivating Camino de Santiago routes. Whether you choose the popular Camino Francis, the coastal beauty of the Camino Portugues, the rugged adventure of the Camino del Norte, the historical richness of the Via de la Plata, the English Way, the original Camino Primitivo, or the spiritual extension of the Camino de Finisterre, each route offers its own unique experiences and rewards. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like to help other pilgrims discover our content. Until next time, be well, stay safe, and be un Camino.